uh, before moving uh, further forward, I would like you to add Ubuntu and Montserrat Google Font in your Atom. And as we learned previously, if you are not familiar, you can just view the previous videos so that you may become familiar to how we can add. Pause the video, try it on your own, otherwise we are going to do it together. So it's really simple. Simply go to the Google Fonts and as we did it previously, you will have all this here and when you scroll down, this is for the CSS. And in order to refer, this is where it's written. Simply copy this and then go over to your side right on the top under the head section paste it so obviously we must beautify this very nice control s refresh there won't be an effect because we haven't used it at the moment so in order to observe its effect what your new task is that pause the video and try to make the h1 which you can see obviously here to monster 3 rem size and 1.5 line height pause the video and give it a try so i hope that you have tried now why don't we do it all together what is written we can just simply look around where is our h1 so this is all that we can see so obviously our heading what we want to change is in h1 and this is what we will be doing here so this is what we want to change it's h1 so let's jump over here H1 size 3 rem line height 1.5 and in order to we want to integrate it to Montserrat so this is what we will copy and then we will Paste it here, control S, let us see the effect. Oh wow, very nice. It's looking better now. Now we will learn a new concept in Bootstrap that is container. And you can obviously yes, this is in the layout. So this is information about the container. You can obviously read it from here too. But what we want here is in order to test the container, what we can do just remove all this and we can make a new div. This will have class container with style it will have a background color you can say red and for in order to have some text you can simply take it from lorem ipsum generator this is what i want so i'll copy paste 
okay so this is how it is appearing at the moment what if i change its size so see that it is it just change itself according to the size and the styling is the same that it's in the center what if i want the container to take the full width for this reason what is going to happen that we are going to have a new div and it will have a new class that is container dash fluid and you can uh, take the styling from here obviously it can have a yellow color and again you can just copy paste lorem ipsum see you see now it is taking the full width and what if I change its size it is going to take the full width but obviously it will adjust according to the size so what if we want to add such thing to our site for this reason what we can do we can move it from title, oh, I'm sorry, from here, you, I mean to say nav bar to the title side. For this reason, I can have a new div, it will have class container dash fluid. Well, paste this here control s then in order to add some styling i can write container dash fluid as we wrote at the back and i will be in some padding you can say three percent padding from top and bottom and 15 percent padding from right and left so let us see its effect now oh this looks different is this looking good oh very nice so everything is working according to the plan now we will be working with our buttons so it's your challenge to change the buttons that we have here into larger size change the first color into dark second into light with the outline dark it must contain an apple image and it will contain a google play image also i will tell you this later on but for button styling you can simply go to the button in the components and you may just visit and try to do this on your own by looking at what is being described here pause the video give it a try and obviously we will be doing it together so i hope that you tried now what we are looking for one the first button will be dark second will be light for this season what we will do we will have a new class it will have button and we want button dark and we want button large what if i do this here too class and we want button button to be light and button to be oh, i'm sorry Dodge, control S, let us see. Very nice. Now obviously, we want outline too. So, this is the outline, outline primary, outline light. Okay. So, we want button, outline, dark. So 
very nice now there's over effect and in order to add the image i would recommend you to go to font awesome and there we will search apple so yes This is what we want. We can just copy this. And we can paste it over here. With little spacing. This I means a shorter symbol they can use in order to display. But this won't appear at the moment. The reason is that we haven't copied its you can say CDN so where is the CDN This is our CDN. Just copy and obviously we will paste this in the header. Beautify. Okay, even if you want, you can add something like this so this is for google font i believe This is font awesome. And this is obviously for CSS. So you can add such things so that you may know that what the links are used for. And we have added for the button tool. Let us observe our site now. Okay, so here is our app. So how can you add the buttons here? As we first transformed our buttons through this thing. I mean from get bootstrap then in order to add button styling you can go to font awesome and then after searching for apple just copy it by clicking here so you may get a chance to paste it over 
here in order to get the apple. Obviously, just add some space so that there may be some space with the writing. And for Google Play, as we have done for the apple, just simply write. Google Play, I can copy this, paste it over here as we did for the Apple thing and for getting the font awesome to get start, we just copy its CDN and paste it over here and then after just refresh it so there you may see something similar to what you can see here. <coughs> so now what we want, we want to customize our site so that it may look uniform. But at the moment, the text type is always different for each. So what can we do? We can add Monsera. So the easy solution for this is that why don't we add it in the body? So simply write body and then we will add font family here we are refresh that's correct now the other thing that we want is we want this to have a white color and we can have it from here color white <coughs> why don't we increase the font weight to bold let us see Oh, nice. I think that's better. This is better. So the other thing is that I want this, our name to be something as confident. And for this reason, why don't we go here and have a look? So nav bar brand, we need to change this. But before doing anything like that, why don't we change what we have been doing here? I mean, why don't we make this as a different section? <coughs> now we are going to work in nav bar, so we can write nav bar and we can make it in a form of comment so that we may know that what we are working with. So here we are now going to do So now we are going to copy this nav bar brand Paste it here and So come on <laughs> So after working it out I came to know that Ubuntu is better for this so font family is going to be Ubuntu. Yes. Let us see how is this going to appear. I think it's looking nice. And obviously we can do something more like I may change its size. Uh, and size is going to be, I'm sorry, font size. Font size is going to be 1.5 REM. I think it might look good. Why don't we just very nice? And then we can have something like font weight too in order to make it more visible. Let us see if this looks nice. Oh, very nice. I think it's looking nice. Okay, so. At the moment, why don't we add some padding so my, there might be some distance between these. We can do something. What can we do? OK, 
Okay, let us see padding. And we can add padding mean we are going to do something like this after it, but what about like 1.5 rem will it affect in what way? Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll see what is going to happen next. So what if we do something more? What is left here is Okay, why don't we compare our site? Okay, this is the thing that we are looking forward. Now we have seen that the padding looks better for our view. Now what else we can do? That we must add some distance. And for this reason, we can view that it is written under nav item, each and everything. So why don't we make it something like nav item, I'm sorry, item padding. Then we can have zero on top, 18 pixels on right. 0 bottom 18 pixel left let us see now so I think this is looking good and your likability might differ from mine but this is what I think is nice so what else we can do we can we must I think do some work for these download buttons. We must increase its distance so that it may appear in better form. Let us see now what can we do for this reason. Where are the buttons? These are the buttons. So I think it's better to add a custom class like download button but you can even work with the class btn as done by bootstrap or whatever you feel like but I would recommend you to go with the custom class download button here we can add download sorry button that we may know what we are working so we can add padding here so what if padding is 3% and 5% again 3% and 5% obviously you can do this even like this Whatever you feel like it is better and easy for you. Let us see. Oh, there's not so. Okay, now it's a bit large. That's very nice. But I think we need to increase some gap too. So, what can I do with this? Obviously, this is something that we have increased here. But if I want to add gap, what if I use margin? Let us see what if I use margin, what is going to happen? And margin is going to be on, you can say 3% on all sides. Let us see. Oh, that's nice. But I think there shouldn't be any margin on the left side. so margin top is correct margin on right is correct but margin on bottom is correct and but margin on the left i think it's better to be zero yes i think that's looking much better but you see that our main attention goes to the button whenever someone sees 
and so it's better that we increase the size of our heading so that we can get the one focus on what we are offering so where is our h1 this is our h1 what if i increase the size to 3.5 rem let us see oh not a big change okay oh i should write font size font size 3.5 rem Oh, that's looking big. What if I only write three? Very nice. Three point three. I think it's looking better now. If someone comes on our page, surely we'll get to know this as it is much bigger than anything else. What we first we want. The attention to be grabbed by this thing, then buttons, and then elsewhere, whatever the user want. So that was really nice. Now we are coming up to our last thing of this tiling, and that is first we must reduce the size. And other thing is that we are going to rotate it on a little right side, as you can see. This is <laughs> somewhat this is. So for this reason, we will make a new class. And you can name as phone image. Control S. We'll copy this so that we can use it for the CSS. Control V. Here we are. Now we will transform in order to rotate it. And here we are. Rotate. We can make it 25 degree. Let us see. Oh, there is mistake with it. Yes, now it's correct. Very nice. We can reduce its size too, and we must try for 30%. How is it going to appear now? Oh about 50 50 I feel is somewhat correct or you can even reduce it to 40 that's better so that is how we are good to go further so your next next chair So your next challenge is right in front of you. So what you are going to do is that you will go to Font Awesome and you are going to select three images, one of checklist, one of bullseye and the other is of heart. And obviously you will copy paste that where we will be writing ID features and just simply see the benchmark what we what I have provided you with so that it may become very clear but keep this in mind that your work should be responsive so that they may adjust according to the size of the screen and the thing is that it must adopt full if the size is medium or below and on desktop or on large view it must contain one by three for each and there must be a color any color you can provide but when your mouse will hover over the image it must change its color so now i'm going to show you its practical application so that it may become more clear this is somewhat that i am asking from you did you see that whenever the mouse come over it it changes its color to red otherwise it's black so you can do whatever you want oh it's not changing i'm going to edit this so it must change its color by hovering so this is your task that you will be doing so what i have done here that i just pasted the three links it was simple and i believe that you have done that too here are the links you will do something similar to your own site while you are making now what we are going to do 
that we want it to have one by three appearance while it is on larger screen and for this reason we will be using our grid system and there it is div the first is going to be the row then div it is going to be column medium three so that means four now what we will be doing that obviously we want this for three so we can do something like this and then just control x and control v that's the favorite part because this makes me look that i'm very smart so this is now let's see the effect very nice now we are going to do something next so you see there's a class row so what we can do either we can do this for whole feature section or we can simply do this for row let us see how can we do this here we are if I do this for row, let us see what is going to happen then. Oh, very nice. Now there is no effect at the moment, so we need to change the thing. So you see, it is the I section in this class. So what we can do we can simply write it column medium four column medium four and in that part it's i and we want its color you can see red let us see so yes it is and now we want this to hover and for this reason we know something like this and over and while it's over its color is going to change we can say blue for example so that it may become more visible to you let us see very nice moment we come over it it becomes blue otherwise it's red so this was precisely our challenge let us see that are we done with our challenge or not you see this was our challenge we got checklist we got bullseye we got heart then we made it responsive one by three for each on full screen and over so congratulations we did it to see its responsiveness we can reduce the size so that it may appear see okay we are going to obviously edit but at the moment you see that what we wanted we have done that thing so very nice congratulations we can surely do one more thing that why don't we change the text for our font size and everything so that it may become much more pleasing to the eye for this reason we will see what is here so it's h3 and p and it is in you can say row or features so let us see what can we do now for if i add features here oh there it's features this so what if I change its font weight to bold oh okay 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 so <laughs> we don't want it all of it to happen now but we want the h3 in features to have font weight as bold let us see now 
Oh, very nice. That's good. What else we can see from this? Okay, that means that this one is better than previous one. So we can even increase its size. Add some padding here and for this reason, what we can do, we can just add padding for this glass. be adding for example five percent let us see the effect oh that's nice but what if i want to add padding from here here and all around so for this reason i must go to the features section and must add padding here That's better, I think. I know this mobile might be causing some issue with you, but we will handle it later on. At the moment, we want it to be. Or we can try one more thing. Why don't we increase margin top, for example, 3%. It's okay. There won't be any big effect, but for this reason, we can later on add some padding up here, I believe. Padding bottom. So you see, or we can reduce. Oh my god, what is this? That's nice. And I believe it is looking much better than before. If we reduce its padding internally, we can do something padding top 5%, padding right 2%. That's I think looking little better. So that's all I must say for this section or you can just reduce this. Or why don't we eliminate all this? Or what if I remove all this and instead I give padding here to see its effect? No, no, no. The previous version, I believe, was better than this, and so I believe that's better. So it obviously depends upon you. That what you feel is better you can have that version thank you very much for staying connected for such a long time and this really depicts that how motivated and how committed you are to change your life to increase your skill set so that's all for this week and i hope that you have learned about containers and how bootstrap can help you in order to make a fully professional site and we will be working over bootstrap further few weeks and then we will move to javascript so until then take care practice keep on learning like share and subscribe the channel see you soon in the next week until then good luck and bye